There we go. Ow! Danny, really? Okay. What's on my feet? I don't know. Shipping your pets to New Zealand. <laughs> and a big part of, well, this is why we didn't, why, why we decided against it. Yes. Everybody has to make a decision <coughs> for their own family and for our family this time, it just was not in cards. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, uh, let me go over some things. First of all, you have to quarantine your pets for 10 days in New Zealand. There's only two places you could do that. One is in Auckland and one is in Christchurch. Neither which is directly located near Wellington, which is where we're... Yeah, Wellington's kind of in between the two. Yeah. <laughs> one's on the North Island, one's on the South Island. So, um, that's, that's one thing. And, and by not near, I mean it's, I think, a three to four hour drive to get there. Yes. Okay, so that's, that's first of all. Yeah. Um, Quarantine, you can only, you, they can only arrive on certain days. Otherwise, they will be quarantined for longer because they're just not available. That's us. Awesome. So they have to arrive on, on Tuesday or Friday, or it will cost you anywhere from 300, well, I'm sorry, 225 US, 300. Um, NCD. NCD, this is using a 72 to whatever conversion rate. Yeah. So it's, it's 225 to $900, depending on when they arrive and when you can actually, when they'll release them. Extra, on top of the $800 to $1,100 that you have to pay per pet. Uh, I did the pricing based on two pets because I knew it was going to be expensive and I was like, you know, I, I love Joxer, but I love you, Fee and Xander, a little more. <laughs> so I was trying to, <laughs> so I especially priced it. Xander. Yes, especially Xander, yes. <laughs> So I, I priced it based on that, and then I basically cut it in half, multiplied by three to determine what. So this is eight to a, eight hundred to eleven hundred each, and then it's two twenty-five to nine hundred each if they're still stuck there. So this brings the cost to twenty-four hundred to six thousand U.S. dollars just for quarantine. Now, of course, I don't expect that it would be nine hundred, but it's a possibility, and that's a big possibility. Like that's that's a jump. Yes. So quarantine, twenty four hundred to six thousand dollars, right there. Twenty four hundred is best case scenario. Then we get to transport. Now to transport them, we have to take them from Houston to LAX to Auckland to Christchurch because the cheaper one is in Christchurch. Auckland is a more expensive quarantine. <coughs> so that excuse me, sorry for coughing. So that, that the trip from Houston to LAX is only like a three hour trip. Um, that's the flight itself. We've got to get them loaded, go through security. Oh, we've got to get them on there. That's $1,310 for two, so $655 each. Um, then the trip from LAX to Christchurch is actually has a stop in Auckland. Um, it's $1,000 each. Um, and I'm, this is all U.S. dollars because this is a U.S. company. Now I had to. We have to get a specific company to take us. I'm not going to say which one. I'm not trying to badmouth anybody. Again, this is anybody's choice. This isn't a bad business. This is everything you have to go through. Right. So I had to find. A, there's only one company that was certified, according to what I could find, that could get them from Houston to New Zealand. <clears throat> um, hi, Xander. So. The, the freight cost from LAX to Christchurch is $1,000 each. So that's $3,000 just for that. Then there's the USA, U, I'm sorry, USDA endorsement that they need. They have to pass that. It's, it's a vet check that they do. And if they fail that, we have to pay an additional $250 
for each pet that fails that. Now, basically how they could fail that, I, I talked to the people, how they could fail that is if something our vet did doesn't add up on their cert, whether it's they forgot to include something, um, it, it's recorded incorrectly. There's, there's a host of little things, but anything wrong increases the time they stay there by another day and costs $250 just for the cert, and then they all would cost another $150 to reschedule their next flight, which is the flight from LAX to Auckland. So then, yeah, I guess you give. Then there's the handling fee, which is $300 per pet. And then there's the pickup and delivery fee, which I thought would be the handling fee, but it's not. So that's another $200 per pet. So the total, <coughs> Not counting, this is the total, um, I believe, not counting, no, this is count. Okay, so $8,400 is the minimum. If everything goes right, everything goes straight, and they get straight there, $8,400 or 9300 if they have to be rescheduled and they all fail their, their USDA service. That's, that's US dollars. So now we're up to... 11,000 to 15,000 and change right there. But then we're not done. There's also the vet certificates here where we'd have to get them rechipped because they have a different uh, they have different requirements for their for their signals in New Zealand. Of course, all countries do. We'd have to get the, the vet certs and everything like that. That's $400 a piece minimum from my my research. So that is 1200 additional dollars. So that brings the total cost anywhere from $12,007.50 to $16,507.50. And we just can't, that, that's, it, it costs three times as much to bring our pets each as it does to bring one of us. Now that's not even getting into, they got 10 days of quarantine minimum, 10 to 14, depending on what day they arrive. They have a day of travel between here and Christchurch. So that's one day. So that's 15 days maximum. They have, um, if they have to get res uh, reserted or re-endorsed by the USDA, the vet thing, that's another day. So we're talking two to three weeks of travel time for our pets and very little time seeing us, if at all, because again, they're gonna be three to four hours away. And I mean, I, I've, I've, I've traveled with a cat that just flew on a plane from um, the east coast of the US to Spain, which was a, a shorter flight, had less requirements, didn't have to do any of this other stuff. And he ended up getting, uh, I'm sorry, she ended up getting liver damage from the stress, which wasn't caught properly. And she ended up dying a slow, painful death. So I know a lot of people are talking about you know, how can you leave your pets? I would much rather my pets live a happy life without me than go, who knows what could happen. Um, I mean, when we flew down here from, I'm just talking like crazy, I'm sorry, I'm very passionate about this. No, it's very fun, it's a very upsetting topic. When we flew down from Alaska, I flew separately with the dog. Yes, and the dog was never the same after she came out. Never the same, nothing. Our flight was delayed because the airlines misscheduled her yeah. so we didn't meet up with you for we were a day and a half late i believe yes you were day because and they were like oh well we don't have room on the plane that was another thing they mentioned they said if there's another dog on the plane already scheduled and already loaded your dog is going to have to wait till the next flight yes because we can't have two or more dogs on in the flight yes and it's your expense if they have to change it yes again 150 bucks yeah. so for me I mean, there's too many variables, too many things that can go wrong. There's too many, there's, yeah, there's just so much that could go wrong, and there's so much money that you're putting in, even if it's I mean, that was me flying with the dog. Right. So I was there, I was at the airport, I kept going to visit her in the little area. Yeah. You know, I kept feeding her, petting her, I was there to keep her calmer. Yeah. I don't know, I don't think our dog or our cat, Joxer probably would have made it. Yeah, he doesn't understand. But he's dumb, that's probably why. But I mean, we did get some, some criticism for not taking our pets and, you know, to each his own. Yeah, and everybody's this is just for us. Decision. We can, we're not telling anybody <coughs> what you should or should not do when you're flying your animal. We're just saying that this is all of the variables that we took into account. 
whatever. We literally couldn't have afforded to go for one. Right. We would not have, it would have like, broke we would have been, we would have been uh, just worrying about getting there, let alone finding a place, because then you need to put down, I believe, three weeks of rent. Is your bond, yeah. And, well, no, three weeks, three weeks for your bond, and then three weeks of rent, I believe it is, up front. Right. And we would not have been able to afford to get out of the place once we got there if we brought the animals. Plus, you also have to do a pet interview. Oh yeah, there's animals. a pet interview for, for the dog. Yes. And it's just so many things that this is, this is why we wanted to put this out here because this is why we decided not to do it. Some people can afford to do it and they're fine, but for us... And we've put out feelers trying to find them a good home in the neighborhood. Yeah. We haven't had any takers so far, but... It's just, you know, it's it's part of life. You, you have to sacrifice to, to do anything. Right. And Everything requires sacrifice. And this is one of the sacrifices <laughs> we're having to make. It's been really hard for the kids to understand why we're doing this, and it's been really hard for us to come to terms with this. But we do know that this is a experience we're not willing to give up. It's Honestly, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And it really is. For, and for us to be able to, for me to get a job, I got a job offer. Yeah. Um, the company's waiting on me to arrive. I mean, I, they've been in the process that we finally filed, everything's good. Yeah. It, I mean, this has been going on for six months now. Yes, and this so, is a once in a lifetime, This most people don't even get the chance to do this and we don't want to pass it up because <clears throat> of this. And we just, we would rather let the animals go to a family that loves them and supports them and know they're safe and not be tra traumatized by right. such a trip. And know that we're not going to have our bank broken <laughs> because we can't afford anything past flying out the animals. Yeah. So it's really... I mean, 12,000 minimum, 16,000 maximum, two to three weeks without us. Just in, in, I mean, I don't know what kind of care they're gonna get. No, we don't. It is what it is. And it sounds like a heartless decision, but in reality, it was something we had to think really hard and long about because they are part of our family. It's just... And most of the numbers I gave are just a rough estimate. So that's why it's... It's between this and this. And we... 7.5 7. is because one number was divided by two. But I didn't put the exact um, translation of New Zealand dollars to U.S. dollars. But the, everything I gave you was U.S. dollars, or roughly. Right. Because, you know, the rates change all the time, so it's, it's roughly. Right. So. That's pretty much what goes into moving your animals to, to New, New Zealand. Zealand. Um, it's they, not, it's scary. And it's, it's, it's expensive. It's, it's expensive, yeah. I and mean, it's, and it's, it's a lot to take in. Um, thanks to everybody who sat through this. Sorry, I rambled a little bit. I did a lot of research, this so I figured I'd bring it with me and yeah. talk about it. Yeah, this was a very informative episode, and I don't think I'm going to do a lot of cutting to it or anything because it's just the numbers. <laughs> the numbers. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Have a good one.